All right, in today's video, we're gonna to try to figure out if this is the greatest Ghostbusters toy ever made. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the HasLabs Ghostbusters Afterlife Proton Pack. MSRP on this was $400, so yeah, a lot of money, but arguably a lot of bang for your buck. This is a very authentic replica of the Ghostbusters Afterlife Proton Pack. Now, this is a whopping box that came in another box that came in another box, so props to Hasbro for having collector-friendly packaging. And speaking of the packaging, look at this amazing Ghostbusters trunk, uh, made to look like, obviously, a trunk that would store any sorts of memorabilia, clothes, photos, you name it. It's got the Ghostbusters logo all over it. We got the faux latches and hatches and it just looks great, but it is a giant box. The width of this thing is 30 inches. It's 16 and a half inches deep and 15 inches tall. So yeah, a uh, big honking box, but let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. So it opens just like a trunk. You got the Ghostbusters No Ghost logo on the top as well as the bottom of the lid. Blueprints, yep. Also shows you how to connect the Neutrona wand. Um, it is sold separately. Uh, thankfully I already have one, but it does not come with this proton pack. So you have to get your own wand. If you've seen the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife, then this will be reminiscent of a scene from the movie. You're actually gonna slide this part here. And it's gonna unlock this little floor piece right here. That way you can get inside. So we got, looks like a nice little ghost trap accessory set. We have samples. Now this did meet all the backer requirements, so it has all the bells and whistles and extra add-ons that Hasbro was originally offering. All right, let's see what we have in our phantasmical samples. Yep. So these are accessories that go on the Proton Pack itself. Little soft, plastic, made to look like melted little marshmallow guys, little ooey gooey. So again, if you've seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, that makes sense, but nice little added accessory that you can choose to decorate the proton pack with, or you can completely ignore it. And then inside the little ghost trap we have, so we got this burnt guy, looking a little worse for the wear. This one, a little more grumpy expression on his face, but also equally uh, flame kissed, if you will. And then this happy-go-lucky guy. Very cute, nice, solid plastic, even has a little bit of articulation where the hands can move. Obviously, being marshmallow guys, you wouldn't expect a whole lot of articulation, but the heads do swivel around. And we also have some interchangeable heads. So you can have some different expressions, pop the heads off. Get rid of this top tray. Now, just excess cardboard. Exceptionally well packaged again. Like I said, gotta commend them. I mean, look at that. Super thick cardboard protectors all around the sides. This thing is a beast. Oh, it is much heavier than I expected. Good Lord. And at the very bottom of the box, we have the Spengler stand for the Proton Pack. Some assembly required, of course. Inside the box for the stand, got some more accessories, it looks like. Some documentation. What do we have here? Okay, so we have Egon's journal, which is actually filled out, has all sorts of cool details, so that is a nice touch. Uh, definitely have to spend some time reading that one. Very cool. Then we have decals. And of course, some nice little stickers. Just collectible stickers, not necessarily meant to go on the pack or anything like that, but classic Ghostbusters stickers. 
And then we have the pieces for the stand. All right, now that it's out of the box, it's on the display stand. The display stand is just a bunch of pieces of plastic that clip together. Um, it looks good enough. I mean, it's definitely, you know, an afterthought uh, for this product, which is evident because it was a tier bonus, but it does the job, holds, holds the proton pack, looks nice enough. Like I said, it is all plastic, has some faux metallic treatments, has the no ghost logos on the side. So it looks good enough in my opinion. Then we got this accessory, we got a clip on here. Just line the holes up. There we go. And there's also a little bitty orange dauber that's supposed to go on the Neutrona wand in case you're cosplaying or different places have legality issues as far as things that look like a gun, always having to have a orange safety tip. But if you don't care about that, just throw it aside. And then of course the hose. Now you might be thinking, okay, cool. They gave you a vacuum hose. Whoopity do. The cool part of the hose that is included is this actually replaces the battery pack. So slide that in there like you normally would your batteries, screws into the back of the wand. The other hose connects to the bottom of the pack. And when you turn this pack on, it powers the wand as well. Now this does not come with batteries. You have to supply your own D size batteries. That's right, D size batteries. I haven't used a D battery since like the 90s with a boom box, but this takes four D batteries. All right, moment of truth time. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Got the awesome LED indicator glowing. Pack itself is cycling. You can hear it vibrating. I can definitely feel it vibrating. Got it connected to the wand. Let's go ahead and turn the wand on, make sure everything works there. Good. We also have a, a volume indicator up here so you can turn the pack up and down as far as intensity level. Gets pretty loud. The speaker is actually doubling up here in this vent area. But look at this, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And this is gonna be hard to demonstrate, but when I actually activate the wand, not only do I get vibration in my hand, but it's in sync with the pack. The pack starts making more and more noise and vibrating. So everything works in tandem exactly like it should. This is simply awesome. Oh, we're overheating. Yep, that's right. You hold it too long, it overheats. You get a little warning sound and the pack shuts down. That is amazing. Overall, the aesthetic on this thing is just absolutely phenomenal. It's got all sorts of cool features, so we can unscrew this. Slide that out. Pull that tray out and get access in there. You'll see there's two little toggle switches in the back that allows you to change the different modes. So if you want it in classic Ghostbusters film movie, uh, mode you can do that or if you want the Ghostbusters Afterlife version you can completely do that and you can actually take out this part sorry doing this one-handed unscrew there and give you even more access I mean this thing is literally the coolest thing Hasbro has ever made by far when it comes to Ghostbusters toys and to call this a toy is almost an insult because this is a legit prop replica i mean this thing is absolutely phenomenal and even like the canvas straps on the back there i mean they're nice and thick you've got the midsection waist strap i mean they just truly 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 absolutely knocked it out of the park with this mm, i seriously love this thing i mean at the end of the day this is absolutely blown away any of my expectations that i had for this product even going into this like i, I knew everything about it i thought when I ordered it, but my goodness, they truly, truly, truly outdid themselves with this one. This is absolutely gonna be a crown jewel for any Ghostbusters fan. I know specifically it's gonna be a crown jewel in my collection. Uh, went as a Ghostbuster at Halloween a couple years ago. Only thing I was missing was a legit proton pack. Now I've got a legit proton pack. So, I mean, the costume is mwah, magnifique now. So definitely, if you can, get your hands on one of these, unfortunately, Completely sold out from Hasbro, so third-party retailers slash eBay is about the only option you have right now, but I kid you not, this is a must-have for any Ghostbusters fan. Anyways, that does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.